Friends, welcome to my workplace for hands-on FACO and SICS training. In this video, we are going to see management of a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock. About 3 o'clock hours away, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. Now, the anti capsule is stained underneath an air bubble with tripan blue dye. The dye should touch on all parts of the anterior capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline, and now the dye is washed out. There is nice staining of the anterior capsule in a short time because the dye was injected underneath an air bubble. The anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. With the help of this 26 case bent needle uh, cystitome, the anterior capsule is punctured at the center. The milky fluid is aspirated. In hypermature Morgagnian cataract, it is not necessary to do a small rexus. Just by puncturing, the milky fluid comes out and the intralenticular pressure reduces dramatically and we can aspirate the milky fluid through this cleft. And now an adequate size rexus of about 5.25 millimeter is done with the help of this utreta forceps. And we can see a hard nucleus with leathery fibers. Viscolistic substance is injected and now is the time to enter into the anterior chamber with a FACO needle. The FACO needle goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial lens matter is aspirated. And now in bevel down position, it goes into the nucleus, makes a tunnel. Then it is made bevel up and goes through the tunnel and get a nice crack. With the bevel sideways, I go here and make another crack, then one more crack and we find this endonucleus, the hardest part of this cataract. This endonucleus is emulsified and now we can attempt separating this pieces and this is the pieces are not separate but what I am doing is I am eating off the peripheral part of the pieces a stump central stump remains joined the peripheral part is shaped off rotate go again into this piece and divide this and now this piece is free bevel is sideways and emulsification is carried out ultrasonic energy used is 80% Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the last two pieces. This piece is emulsified. The other piece is down and is protecting the posterior capsule. And now I emulsify this piece. At this time, I reduce the vacuum to 300, flow rate is 30, 
and very carefully keeping an eye on the posterior capsule and emulsify this piece. And at this time, the vacuum is only 90 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 20. And it is done. The nucleus is managed. There is some cortex all around. I inject some visco and then use a Simco cannula to remove this cortex. Go through the side port to remove the sub incisional cortex. And now, now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. Before this, this is there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule just in front of the main wound. And I go again and remove the cortex. Yes, now it is done. Posterior capsule is clean, no cells sticking to the posterior capsule now, and then hydro implantation of a lens is to be done. The main incision is enlarged by 0 0.2 millimeter. The size of the wound becomes 3. With the help of a B cartridge, a single piece monofocal intraocular lens goes into the capsular bag. And it is done. And now we have to close the side ports, form the entry chamber nicely, check the integrity of the wounds, and then conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. In this case, you have seen that with Babel down, I made a tunnel and then I released the mass, made the fecal needle with bevel, its bevel off and enter, entered into the tunnel and made the crack. So this is a nice way to divide such free floating nuclei.